In order to activate the E-Fence floor feature, you need to set the bucket at a certain height. Press the lower left app button and turn on E-Fence. Then press the lower right menu button and select E-Fence. To set the floor where the bucket currently sits as a reference point, select E-Fence Floor to activate it. The green line is activated for E-Floor. The machine will not allow the bucket to penetrate that area no matter how fast. E-Floor stops the machine. No matter what bucket angle or boom down command you give, the front linkage won't move below the floor you set. An alternative way to set the E-Floor is to input the actual numerical measurement. With the E-Floor activated, select the Floor Height button to input your value. Here we will change the defaulted value to a fixed 2,000 millimeter, then hit Apply. Since this floor is set at a much higher distance, the bucket must be raised above this E-Floor to stop the tone. As you try to boom down, the machine will limit the distance to avoid the new E-Floor. You can press and hold on the E-Fence icon to go directly to that feature and disable it. Once back on the home screen, the green line is now gone to show E-Fence is deactivated.